Hello again, Chargers. It is Monday, April 18th, and I'm Lizette Moskeva. And I'm Sarah Asmussen. Today on DP News, ASB office winners, dual enrollment information, and more. Seven weeks and two days left until graduation. We're almost there. But first, you're watching DP News. A quick reminder that the WAS committee will be visiting our campus today, and that means that if you have an adult stop and ask you a question, please respond honestly and politely. Congratulations to the winners of the ASB election. The ASB officers for the 2016-2017 year are President Tommy Johnson, Vice President Cindy Diaz, Secretary Rocky Yusaka, Treasurer Lauren Bowie, Historian Adriana Perez. There will be a mandatory meeting for the current and new ASB officers on Monday, April 18th at lunch in room P2. Congrats to everyone that ran. You all did an excellent and extremely professional job in campaigning. If you're interested in taking a Santa Barbara City College dual enrollment math or economics course taught by one of our teachers here on campus, you must take the SBCC math assessment in order to have the option. Students can take the assessment at DP on Friday, April 29th at 8 a.m. in the cafeteria or Friday, May 6th at 2 p.m. in the cafeteria. If you have any questions, please contact your counselor directly. Speaking of SBCC, it is time to sign up for the SBCC Senior Orientation. The orientation will take place on April 29th and in order to attend, you must have already applied to SBCC and completed your assessments for math and English or completed the college level class. If you did not assess here at DP, you will need to bring proof of assessment. Space is limited and completed permission slips are required and due back no later than Monday, April 25th. Please note, you must take the bus to and from DP, no exceptions, and be sure to see Ms. Irwin with any questions. Volunteers are needed for La Patera Elementary School's open house on Thursday, April 28th from 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. Easy hours that could be used for community service. Volunteers are needed for setup, cleanup, and drink sales. Please contact Riona at raguilera at sbunified.org. If you didn't get a chance to come see the DP Theater Company's production of The Grand Duchy, there will be two more performances on Thursday, the 21st at 7 p.m., and the closing show on Sunday, the 24th at 2 p.m. Tickets are $10 for students and $14 for adults and can be purchased online at dptheatercompany.org or at the box office after school. International Day is this Friday in the Greek. An extended lunch period will take place in order to allow students to buy food to support the clubs here on campus. That's all for your campus news today, DP. Now over to Peter in Dallas with the Sports Report. What's up, TP? I'm Peter. And I'm Dallas here with your sports report. On Friday, our boys' tennis team faced off against Miracosta, the fifth-ranked CIF team of Division I tennis. Our boys battled tough against the Mustangs on our courts, but fell under the powerhouse of the team, ending with a score of 16-2. Their next match is today on our courts against Aurora Grande, beginning at 3. Our baseball team also on Friday traveled to Santa Barbara to face crosstown rivals on their field. Our team dominated the Dons, beating them 9-5 and improving to a record of 3-1 in league and 13-5 overall. The boys overall did well, with every one of their batters getting a hit in the game. Austin Bull pitched great in relief, coming in to pitch the 5th and 6th innings, and Peter Apple came in for the save in the 7th by striking out all three hitters to end the game. Baseball has another home game against Buena tomorrow at 3:15. Also on Friday, our boys lacrosse team faced off against Hart in our stadium. Our boys played tough and came out on top, beating Hart High School 10-5. Great job, boys. Keep up the hard work. In our Winter Guard 
team wrapped up their season at Stockdale High School in, in Bakersfield this weekend. Our team broke 80 points, the highest so far, and brought home a bronze medal in the Scholastic AAA division. Great job, girls, and special shout out to the members of the DP Drumline who came out and supported our girls this weekend. Now over to Jeffrey Chow with an interview. Hello, I'm Jeffrey Chow, and I'm here with... Carrie Apple. And? Alicia Amado. And they are part of Winter Guard. Carrie, how was your competition this weekend? Well, we performed at our championships competition this weekend at Stockdale High School in Bakersfield. And we ended up scoring over 80 points with our highest score so far and bringing home a bronze medal in third place. All right. Uh, Alicia, how was your last performance as a Charger? It was bittersweet. I have been doing color guard since freshman year. Carrie has been with me all four years. She joined in eighth grade. You know, I'm going to miss these girls, but we gave it our all. It was a bomb performance, and I couldn't be happier with it. Oh, Carrie, what are you looking forward to next season? Well, we're really looking forward to our upcoming season in the fall. And we're actually having auditions at the end of April on April 27th and April 28th from 3.30 to 6 here at DP in P3. All right, you heard that here. Auditions at the end of the month. All right, now over to Nandini with your current events.